Yeah. Do we have music? Yeah, okay. I know says I loved your videos, man, still do. Then I stumbled across your Twitch channel. I think I'll stay. Well, you're welcome to stay here as much as you want. I'm typically, I'm gonna be off tomorrow and off this weekend. I have some stuff going on, uh, but typically I am here 10 a.m. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. Yeah. You guys ready? All right, let's load this up. I should probably just continue, right? No. Twelve fifty thirteen eleven would be what I want, right? Let's go there. All right. Chapter one, how to kidnapped from a banya. And then he disappeared. He won't be interfering with work at the windmill anymore. Okay. So this is Vasilisa. This is our main character. Uh, she was betrothed to her love. Who then um, took his own life. And apparently if you take your own life, you're damned to eternity in hell in this culture. And she doesn't believe that he did that. She she suspects something else happened. So she uh, has trained to become a witch. This guy trained her to be a witch. And she wants to grow powerful enough to bring her love back and find out exactly what happened. Um, But part of her duties as a witch is to like help people with problems or cause curses and mischief. So you kind of kind of make decisions you can commit sins in this game. And I don't know what the impact of that is. We've committed a couple of sins already. You get like these sin, you get these little coffin sin points when you do that. So we'll see how it works. All right. Um, so there's story dialogue and then there's a, it's a card based um, battle game. So let's see what happens. Yeah. Um, well done, Vasya. I didn't doubt for a minute that you'd take care of the demon. There was a demon in a windmill that we had to fight. Well, uh, while you were gone, I had some thoughts about the seals. Every single piece has its meaning, and every seal requires a demon. The second one is the Aspen one. We'll have to think what to do next. Oh, see, wait, hold on one second. This was... It seemed to go back a little bit, didn't it? Auto save. I chose the, mo the most recent one, though. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess we'll go back. You know what? It'll give, it'll give folks who weren't here yesterday some context. It's okay. It's not that far back. All right. So there are, there are seals that we're trying to break um in order to accomplish our goals all right let's it's a seal of asp the first seal was opened by touch and that was all how do i open the second well not by simply touching the asp that's for sure never touch the asp i think we need evil spirits oh so we'll find the asp and demons where do you think we can find them grandfather i don't know yet I'll have to think on it. Go deal with the things you can at the moment and let me think. All right. I see. Time to get to work then. All right, these are the demons in our bag. Shorts are back. Shorts. All right, so shorts are a demon or devil who can serve as a coldoon, which I think it means witch, familiar. I sent them to perform an arduous task. That's why they weren't around. Now I should give them tasks? Well, what did you expect? You knew what you signed up for. Everything has a price, especially wishes. Mm. 
If you don't want them to torture you, send them to curse people. <laughs> That's the life of a Khaldun for you. And if I don't want to curse anyone? Then suffer. These demons won't leave you alone. That would be so bad. Like, you literally have to curse people with, with these demons, or they just will never leave you alone. I've seen them before in your bestead. Not often, though. Now you will see them plenty. You can observe our entire gubernia in your bestead. In the end, you decide what you do with those jorts of yours. Okay, so Gubnier is a major administrative subdivision of the Russian Empire. God help us. Okay, so now we've got in this in this bag, we've got shorts. Old Yegor has passed to on to you his pesture full of shorts. You now have a number of shorts yearning for mischief. Be careful, idle shorts torment their cold dune masters. It takes some time for shorts to do their job a day or more. Each location has a specific type of, of job, hunger, strife, corruption, etc. Each chort has a job preference you can discover by learning a specific skill. Chorts perform better with their job of choice and worse with the ones they hate. In order for chorts not to torment you and steal your health, don't forget to give them jobs every morning. Okay. Um, did we take our skills already? Did it save it? Do we have a knowledge point? What did I choose? I chose this, sleight of hand. I wish I could undo that. And I would I would take it over here. You can send short specialized short specialties and job types are visible. I would choose this. Just so I can know where to put these folks. I can also do this one. You can send one short on a meaningless job instead of torturing someone, I guess. All right, so this guy's a Matvi. I don't know exactly what the strategy is, how to assign these folks. So if I bring, send thieves. This is how many sins I get, plus four for doing it. I was thinking why they named Demos Chort, Demon's Chorts, but now I realize that Chort translates as Demon or Devil. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty neat. So I can send, make husband and wife quarrel. Okay, go ahead. Um, Send a drought. Seems uh, attract a married man to his wife's friend. These are terrible. Send fleas and roaches. Let's do that. That one that that seems less bad than some of these others. Send thieves. Send rot into the roots of a peasant's garden. Okay, we'll send some rots. Rot in. There you go. What? How terrible is that? Okay. We're a good witch, though, aren't we? All right, we got four visitors. The moment I became a Kaldun, I saw the Uyest in a completely different light. What's an Uyest? There is no such place where a demon wouldn't hide. You just noticed your own chorts are also a giant pain. Yes. All right, we can't leave uh, our house until we talk to all the villagers that are, want to see us. There's four of them. Yegor Yevlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna, it's me again. This is the miller. We just helped this guy with a demon. Came to give my thanks. The spirits have stopped haunting us. Here's what I promised. <sighs> okay, the miller inherited this mortar. By the looks of it, it's far too old of a thing not to be enchanted. Herbs and healing Zagavor's spells Restore plus one heart. Okay. Thanks. The spirits, however, took the money I saved for my grandson's books. We, we might have taken the money ourselves, but we'll let him think it's the spirits. Yes, yes, spirits. They're awful. Well, it is what it is. True. 
Okay. Visitor number three. Hey, rabbit. Did you study your black pages or not? I'm the one with the aching bones here. What? Ah, damn knowers. All you can do is lens boils. I'm off to work. Good riddance. Don't give yourself a hernia. Some people. Okay. I don't, I don't remember what that's all about, but he doesn't seem happy. Next visitor. Oh, that's right. This guy with the fancy Be hat. well and live long. My godmother sends a jug of milk and sends her regards. Thank you for the milk. Kolya, is that you? Hello, old Igor. So, you're back. Yeah, it's been at least a week. <laughs> it sounds like he was talking to him like, Oh, you were gone for so long. Yeah, it's been a week. You sure have grown tall. <laughs> How tall are you exactly? Uh, Twelve uh, Vershoks? It's a unit of measure in archaic Russian. Well, what brings you here? I heard about your man, Vasilisa. It's hard to lose loved ones. I know. Hmm. However, I'm here for another reason. I need your help. Yesterday evening, at a get-together, I made a bet with the lads. They dared me to enter Banya at night. It's a bathhouse. I don't believe all this supernatural stuff, you see. When you go to war, you see things you know. I entered this old Banya, the abandoned one, by the river. It was around midnight. I opened the door and saw a sort of blue light, and it was quiet. Too quiet. I reached into the stove, you know, to take a stone. They wouldn't call me chicken if I showed them proof later. <laughs> Does he look like someone that would fall for a bunch of people saying, you're gonna be a chicken if you don't go to the bathhouse after midnight? Like, <laughs> like why did he fall for that? <laughs> Suddenly, a hairy paw grabbed my left hand. Here, look left a mark well it's true he does have a mark on his hand that devil didn't let me go all of a sudden some female voice said marry me M marry me my hand was hot as fire and then i just lost it and it kept on asking and she still held on to me wouldn't let go so i told her i would then she let me go I ran as fast as I could. <sighs> okay. Damn this demonic power. You are a knower. Help me, would you? Nikolai visited the Banya at midnight, and something grabbed him. What might that be? Okay, choose the crash dancer to get 50 experience. Press the button to use your knowledge and get a hint, but you only get 25. So if I press this button, I get a hint. Um, We know it's a Bannock, right? We did this yesterday, but you can always go to the uh, Amnastakan. Go to the encyclopedia. Bannix. A Bannock was the master of the Banya. That's how you find the answer. It's a Bannock. In the Banya, you say? Wow, that's a Bannock, all right. Lord Almighty. Uh, what did she look like? The stone from the stove. I'll help you. So its hand was hairy. What else did you notice? I couldn't see anything. It was completely dark. The hand was black and hairy. Stone from the stove? What did you do with the stone? Well, I took it with me. To prove to them I wasn't yellow. Didn't tell about the demon, though. Dropped it off at home later. I told my godmother and she sent me here right away. Ah, wise woman, your godmother. All right, I won't leave you to the wolves. Vasilisa, take a closer look at the demon. This Banyak may have an aspen seal on her. Go to the old Banya tonight, both of you. Talk to the demon and find out why she wants to marry you. You, Kola, use this balm on your left eye to see the demons. Don't forget the stone, Kola. I'll wait for you outside. Okay, and then final visitor. Hello. Hey, Vasya, they say you're a knower now. This may be of interest to you then. The other day we were gathering berries by Kajil Lake. 
gathering berries. By the way, I have brought you some. It's near Zapolsk. Anyway, we came across this clearing with holes everywhere. The horror! So I thought you might want to go there. Who knows? Perhaps there are evil spirits. Okay. All right, so Didn't I can't think I'd be seeking help from nowhere's. Oh, I've always did my military service. Okay, so I can talk to them more. We sent our shorts out. We can look at the black book if we wanted to spend money and like buy new cards for our deck uh, or any of that. But let's just get going. Let's set off. You now have the ability to take your companions along with you on travels. Okay, Nikolai. Each helper has a unique ability that you can make use of in battle. Presence or absence of certain helpers affects the outcome of in-game events. Okay, so we're we're taking Nikolai. Oh, he's got a backhand card. Um Main task is talk to the demoness in the in the Banya, but we can make our way up there. My location. Can I go to the forest grove? Set off. Alright, we'll go to the first place. See what happens. You notice a black silhouette on the road. It appears to be shrouded in fog and is hard to distinguish in the soft lighting of the night. The air is filled with a strange song performed by the demon. You've never heard this melody before. A chill runs down your spine as you listen to the alien melody. Let him finish the song, attack, or walk around. A chill runs down my spine as I listen. What do you guys think? Finish the song, attack, or walk around? I'm thinking walk around would be the least fun here. So maybe not that. Let him finish the song, Chauncey. Google Tart seems to agree with the uh, Bogotter Sing. All right, here we go. The devil continues his song. You listen, holding your breath and not moving. Soon, the melody stops, crashes against the tops of the fir trees, and dissolves in moonlit silence. Oh! You feel that perhaps now you understand oh. demonkind somewhat better. I beat you. I saw you. You feel that perhaps you now understand demonkind somewhat better. Oh, nice. We got 100 experience for that. That's awesome. Hi, Alaska. How's it going? By the way, Alaska, did you notice that I flipped the bit badges for you so you can do wield lightsabers and uh, fireball ice ball? You can do a wield it now. Yeah, anybody who uh, has got some of those higher up bit badges. Now this is possible. You can go like this. Oh, you know, you were here on Tuesday. Did I tell you about that on Tuesday? I don't remember if I said so or not. Um... Suddenly, a magic circle shimmers at the demon's feet. A moment later, another devil appears by his side. His burning eyes are staring right at you. Oh, I thought this was going to be a good thing. We still have to fight. Oh, I talked about it to Alaska. All right, well, I, I forgot then. Old man brain, sorry. All right, what do we got here? Okay, so in the combat, it works kind of like Slay the Spire. You can see what the enemy's about to do, right, by hovering over their head. This guy's going to summon more evil spirits. Okay, so the song actually summoned a spirit. Ah, waiting for him to finish did that. Okay. I know I told you guys. I just didn't know if Alaska was here when, when I uh, was mentioning it. And then at the top of the screen, I got to form a spell using my cards. I can use one scroll. I have to use one scroll card to actually two scroll cards and one key. All right. You can see in the top left, this is a scroll. And on the top left, that's a key. All right. So he's going to summon. He's going to attack. Um, I think we'll attack three to all enemies waste three on this one which is a damage over time and we already have three defense this turn let's do attack on this one we got to take him out before he summons more
Okay, now it's their turn. Oh yeah, what does my friend do? Oh God, he just summoned a big pig. You could be a big pig too. Oi! You can use your helper's ability. What's my helper's ability? Where is it? Oh, here it is, backhand. Oh, it's five, it's just five damage. Oh, and that counts. That doesn't count as a card on top. I guess if we do all this, it's 15 defense. They're gonna do nine, 10, 11. I think that's okay. Hey babes. Welcome home. Please. I didn't hear you. I know, I was quiet. I got a picture of Milo. You did? Yeah. I actually picked him up. Oh, really? Yeah. Was he friendly? Oh, yeah. Nice. And Chloe came out. Chloe was wicked sweet and everything. Who's Chloe? The boys' cats? Oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh. I was at their house. Oh, that's so cute. So. She's uh, pet sitting for two of our friends. Uh, did you get the recent text? I did. Yeah, I just saw that. I haven't replied. Can okay. I just really quickly yeah. just show everybody my problem? Let's show, let's, she wants to show you guys her problem. You guys I, okay with that? I have a problem. She has okay? a problem. And the problem is called socks. I like socks. I like all kinds of socks. But it gets to a point where I need to do some uh, inventory and throw away socks. That's all socks? This is all socks these are all socks that i'm about to throw away oh my that's a lot yeah i like socks i like every kind of sock and and you guys want to know the worst part too this is half filled with socks <laughs> she's got another bag half filled <laughs> you can open a store yes have my dirty whole whole ridden riddled socks well that's that's the thing that's the thing these are these are all old socks yeah. that I've used for the past five years, so they're they're yeah. stains. No, I've... trust us, we we donate yes. a lot of clothes. Oh yeah, all the time. I oh. I honestly I really try to donate as much as I can because I know there are people that need it, um, but can't afford it. But yeah. these socks, unfortunately, are trash socks. She's not good to her socks either. No, because no. she will literally like run out like it just rained and she will run out in the yard in socks like to to go look at a squirrel or something and i'll be like what are you doing you're literally coming back in with these muddy socks well okay so listen that actually happened yesterday yesterday yes, morning it did it happen had rains, yes and i forgot that i left his gig in the garage with the garage door open yeah and he ran out Yes. And I didn't know, so I panicked. That's understandable, but I there are definitely the times wall. where you go into the yard for no particular reason. Oh yeah, yeah. Sparkwood, to be honest, I, I apologize. I completely just like changed your chat from a video game to socks. These are socks that have been sitting in the closet yeah. for the past um, probably like year or so because I haven't used them. Right. They're she, like she's, old. They got old and holy and she rotated them out and exactly. <laughs> they just pushed to the back of the drawer. Yeah. Tangerine cupcake. I love that idea, but if I didn't already have so many craft projects going on, yeah. I would do that. All right. I apologize. I distracted. I'm home. Is there anything you need while I... No, this is a fresh cup of coffee. Okay. I know. I took so long. I'm sorry. No problem. No worries. All right. So how do I beat these guys? Uh, can I use his ability every turn? Oh, okay. Turns until the helper summons... What? They can do one, something, whatever. Look, he's just sitting there smoking his pipe. All right. What do we want to do? I really can't uh, block too much. I can block three. And then that's really it. Let's do waste three on this guy and then choose a target. Kill this guy. Will this work? I think this will work. 
I hope this will work. Yes. Okay. Good. He died. And then they go. Regal Peach, we uh, talked about my doctor appointment at length today. Uh, if you want to rewind the beginning of the stream, I, I kind of talk about my health issues. But long story short, I have to go in for a catheterization for them to check out what's going on in my heart on September 2nd. Yeah. So. There's going to be some missing stream time in early September. <clears throat> um... So this turn, he's going to do two, and he's going to do six. What kind of blocking can I do? Not much. I could do this kind of blocking. I guess I can heal. Let's do the firm, well-versed. No, actually, it's not that great. In this situation, it's not that great. Okay, we're back up to 18 health. Thanks, Regal Peach. Thanks, Ambrosia. Oh, wow, he did six damage. Okay. Um, He's got one health, huh? Removes a positive status. Don't you remove my positive status. I guess I gotta kill this guy. <laughs> All right, 13 of 19 health. This gets locked up here. Um, He's gonna do eight damage this turn. Well, I can block it all like that and then still have four damage go to him. So let's do that. Oh, and I can use his power too, right? Okay, we blocked all the damage. I'm going to use his attack here to do four. Okay, he's gonna do five. I can do four more nine. And do I have any way to heal? No. Okay, we got it. All right, so choose. This is a, a new spell to go in our black book. We can get Babushka Saramafushka. I like the name. Babushka Serafamushka. Firmer than stone. Koldun Fiend. Removes positive statuses, well versed, and one damage. Firm, one damage to all enemies, or well versed, and increases the number of keys in the book in the next round by one and heals for two. What does that mean? Well, Babushka, isn't that kind of like a, like a motherly figure or grandmother? What does Babushka translate to? So it's, it's, it's like Grandma Serafamuska. That's her name. <laughs> I think. Babushka is a hair covering? That grandma's wear? Seraphimushka is something aimed near angel like? Ah, okay. What does babushka mean? You guys have the power of Google. I, I have faith in you guys. Um. 
Oh, it is grandmother. Okay, good. Grandmother. So grandmother. Angelic grandmother. One damage to all enemies. Removes positive status effects. Well versed. Increases the number of keys in the book in the next round by one. I guess let's try Babushka. Let's try the Babushka. Okay. Let's continue down the road to Rasalka's backwaters. Set off. You notice a strange sight in the distance. A ball of snakes is rolling around the woodland road, scales glittering in the moonlight. Disperse the snakes with brushwood. Read a snake defending Zagavor, which is a spell. Ask Nikolai for help or walk around the snakes. I wish this had Twitch in, uh, integration. I wish you guys could pick everything for me. That'd be so good. Like quickly and automatically. Um, let's ask Nikolai for help. Nikolai grins and picks up a large stone. He throws it right at the snake ball. Most of the snakes scatter but some of the enraged creatures slither your way. Luckily, you find some healing herbs near the overturned stone. Okay, so we got healing herbs, Adam's head, and we got a battle. Yeah, doing it manually, just it, it takes, with the stream lag and the, the lag in responses, it's too hard. Yeah. 16 and 18 health, oh boy. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? All right, so we're going to use this on this one. These are going to do poison. For each page you read, excluding gestures, you suffer one. Oh, God, that's bad. That's, and I have no way to block that, so I need to go all in on trying to kill. Kill! Kill! And, um, yeah, oh, my... I don't know if it matters what order you do it on. Shazam, this game looks like a storybook. Yeah, it is kind of like that. I like, there's a lot of games out there that have this type of card battling mechanic, right? Um, but not a lot of them that integrate the exploration, the choices, and the story like this one. Yeah. Sparkle says, wow, that's an amazing fizz flip on lens. Check your lens post. If you're a Patreon supporter at the $5 tier or above, go to patreon.com slash or Look at the lens post for this morning. I had fizz gig playing with my cat, playing with his toy. He was leaping so high in the air. Sparkwood, he had one before that, uh, film that was like... I don't know, he jumped up like four or five feet. And then I got my camera out, and then he still did another amazing one. Yeah. It's pretty great. Cat's super athletic. Okay, backhand. For each page I, page I read, I'm gonna take damage. Oh well. So he's gonna do five. I gotta have him to do four over here. All right, one snake's gone. I'm down to seven life, by the way. All right, I have to use an herb. Plus six life. Okay. Uh, I'm still poisoned.
I take three damage just to use all my spells. The poison is terrible. You never want poison. Yeah, <laughs> using <laughs> using herb to self medicate. It's 420 somewhere. It's probably not true. All right, here we go. Increase the number of keys in the book. See, see, grandmother uh, Babushka Serafamuska was a little late. We need to do on turn one. All right, I'm not poisoned anymore. Oh, he's going to actually poison me this turn. So let's go well-versed. I guess we'll do real, no real choice here. He's going to poison me again, huh? One poison. Okay. So what can I do? Just end turn and then... Ugh. I guess we'll just kill it. Uh, it's dead. Choose a new page. Cold Dune Fiend removes positive status effects, well versed, and one. Firm one. War ward does what? Increases shield for three turns at the beginning of each round. In Father's name. Removes negative stat. We want this. Salamanida. Boom, 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 boom. You want to see a cool card in my, uh,. My spell book? Yes. I can summon the angelic grandma. Uh, you ready? Look, babushka servamuska. It means angelic grandma. Why does she have devil horns? Because I'm a witch and pretty much every... Oh, did part of your... Five second rule. Her coffee roll fell on the floor. But she did it. She grabbed it. Five seconds. In my, I have a five second roll. In my world, there is no five second rule, but that would be about as close as I would get to it would be for a coffee roll. Listen, listen. That was the most perfect part of the coffee roll. I couldn't let it go to waste. It was the perfect part of the coffee roll? What part was it that? It was the absolute center. Oh. Where like the bread is just like super tender and it's just amazing. Okay. I've got Adam's head herbs. Ooh. I was about to ask if you even follow the five second rule. No, no. Not I, saying I've never done that in my life, but no. I always, <laughs> I always wonder how like medicine like worked in like the old country. Like did they just like chew up plants and then like put it on a wound? They put it in a pestle. Um, oh, so they did like a mortar and pestle? Yes. And then they, they like spread it on wounds and they're like, Right. That's going to cure your blight. And then they say, your blood is bad. So we need to have leeches suck it all out. And we're going to stab you in the arm and blood let you. Thank That's God what... for modern medicine. I know, right? Oh my God. Okay. Thank God for modern medicine, even though we have to be awake for catheterization for some reason. Did I tell you, like he said to me, he's like, I want to be able to like talk to you. I have to be able to talk to you during the procedure in case I find something. I'm like, I'm like just yeah. do what you feel is best. Yeah, well, that <laughs> me out of this. I mean, have you seen, I've seen crazy videos of doctors doing brain surgery. No, yeah, oh yeah, I've seen to, like, playing, playing the, the piano violin. or yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Like, Maybe not a piano. <laughs> Well, not the piano, you know, like a violin yeah. or something. Like, that's insane. That's yeah. crazy. It is crazy. Near the old gravestones, you see a demon. His eyes are focused on the sky. It seems that he is in deep thought. He merely sighs when he notices you. He merely sighs. All right, let's greet him. Hey there, demon. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I remember you've fallen into hell. Oh, 
You did? Oh, okay. You've got a hole in your wing. What a talkative chort. Well, what's so special about that? Me? I flew out of hell and decided to stay for a while. And listen. Help me find an answer to a question, and I'll reward you, which. Okay. Well, sure. Ask away. I'm searching for an answer. What are the three kinds of dates? First dates. Figs and dates. Oh, you got me. You go out on a date with your loved one. There you go. Well, that's one. What are the other two? What are the three dates? You have one with a loved one, and the second one is? Okay, let's see if we can find anything in our Omnastica. Um, Choo-choo, there you go. Sorry, that was a little late. I just noticed that I got that. <laughs> All right, what kind of dates would there be? Uh, so they have, they have all kinds of lore and stuff that can sometimes help you figure this stuff out. But I don't know if I have this specific information here. What are the three dates? You have one with a loved one, and the second one is your surname, a village, a fruit. Let's do the fruit. All right, right, fruit. There's an exotic fruit called a date. That's right. Those are the two I came up with. Hmm, seems right. What is the third one? What are the three dates? You guess one, the kind with a loved one, and also the fruit. What's the third one? Uh, a day. A day. A calendar date. Oh, okay, that was easy. It sure seems obvious now. So, you are nowhere. I do, I know things. Here you are. A treasure for your efforts. All right, this is eight rubles and uh, 20 wisdom teeth, which is experience points. Well, I guess or I have 200, to get back 200. to hell before they miss me. The demon disappears into flames. Okay, cool. You continue on your journey. Um, in father's name, firmer than stone or key tongue. Which gesture does not spend... What? What does does not spend cancellation mean? I like that the tool tech, like, what does gesture mean? Oh, does not expend cancellation. I guess the poison wouldn't have affected a gesture, right? So maybe it's kind of, maybe it's kind of like saying instead of there being a vocal component to your spell, it's just somatic. You think that's what it is? I think that's what it is. I'm going to choose it just so we learn. I don't know what that means. All right, we can go to the Traveling Herbalist or Yuzova Village. Let's go to the Herbalist. Let's go spend some money. Give me those herbs. What? Want some pranics? I've sold everything already. Oh, you want some herbs? Well, take a look then. So Priyanik is a variety of traditional sweet baked goods in Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, and some other neighboring countries. I would like Priyanik. Bye. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got... Tried. Ooh, the Tirlich. Witches and warlocks treasure this herb. Art articulacy? What? Increases the number of scrolls in your Zagavor for one turn. Oh, okay. Got it. Ward. Why do they have the same thing multiple times? Oh, that's just instead of having. Oh, okay, that's their stock. Honeycomb. Your lips were made for drinking. <laughs> your lips were made for drinking honey. Eloquence adds three well versed effect values. I think I just need healing, really. Rage. Peter's Cross. 
Removes poison, removes waste. All right, let's buy that. Removes positive status of it, uh, from an enemy. Adam's head. Adam's head. Eliminate enemy shield. Forty six. Wow, some of these are some of these are pricey. All right, that should be it. What? Want some pranics? I've solved it. All right, where we go? You might be able to cast it without taking up a spell slot. E.g., even though it's a key spell, you can cast another key spell along with it. Maybe, maybe that's what it does. I don't know. We'll figure it out together. I like, I like uh, exploring and experimenting and learning with. Like this kind a of gloomy stuff. skeleton of an unknown beast, the old remains of a burnt house stand before you. All the logs are charred black. Some of them have collapsed and are covered with moss. Only the white stove gleams in the moonlight, still intact, even after the fire. Why step inside, of course? It's hard to tell who used to live in this izba. You step inside, and you seem to sense the smell of burnt wood. Stars and pine branches are visible above instead of a roof. Suddenly, you notice a shaggy figure near the furnace. Hey, Scoob! Like, whoa! <laughs> hey, it said it was a shaggy figure! Um... Read a prayer or call out to the demon. I'll read a prayer. As soon as you make a move towards the mysterious figure, it disappears. A ball of baked clay lies where the black spirit once was. You take it with you. I didn't say to step towards it. I said to say a prayer. But I'll take the clay. Hearth clay. This piece of clay contains the warmth of the hearth and the care of invisible family spirits. Applies five, five shield on your first turn. Oh, okay. Do I have to replace another item for that? Hey! Oh, okay. So it's just basically an upgrade for my candles. Plus one health. All right, I think... I think that's okay. Trinity Church. You see a friendly flame burning in the distance. You come closer, and soon you are standing in front of a lonely church. Inside, it is warm and cozy. It smells of incense and old wooden sculptures. Soon, you hear a calm voice. Hey, I bet! I have a feeling that you've had a hard time getting to our church. A real hard time. Not really. Read a prayer <laughs> that worked out so well last time. Or buy? What can I buy? Wow, I can avo I can only afford incense, holy water, or honeycomb. No, Robert, she said getting to the church, not going into the church. Uh Strength and status, piety. Do we want bless five? Can I? Oh, I can sell stuff too. If I sold, gain two piety on battle start. Increases black valuable in word. Okay, I don't know what I would want. Reduces your torment from shorts by one. Give seven, gain seven regeneration on battle start? What? What? Chance that herbs don't disappear after using them. Your first Zagavor always has a lock page. 
These are some great stuff, but I can't really afford them. I don't know if I should bless you, Vasilisa. Your road is a twisted one. Read a prayer. You read a prayer and rest a bit. Oh, we got our health back. Oh, nice. Goodbye, Holy Father. <gasps> All right. The curved ravine or the bridge to the Banyas? Let's go to the curved ravine. I'm sure this is fine. You approach the open rift. Dried bushes are sticking out of its walls like the rotten teeth of a dead man. You carefully look down. Suddenly, the forest around you is lit by a strange red light. As you look up, you see a fiery ball zigzagging through the sky. Defensive Zagavor! Your words are lost among the tree branches. The fiery ball flies away, and everything is silent again. <laughs> I'm sure that could have been much more interesting. Bridge to the Banyas, then. I think I chose poorly. There's a rotting bridge over a small river, a tributary of the Kolva. In the moonlight, you discern a strange silhouette on the other side of the bank. Come closer! You take several steps towards the silhouette, but it disappears in the morning mist. A chill runs down your spine. Leave the location. You wonder if you can go back? Let's try it. That says visited. I can't do it again. You get one chance. Just one chance. All right. Oh, love. Oh, love. Night travels are not the most convenient ones. In the darkness, you can stumble upon any kind of evil spirits. This is precisely what happens now? You step into a silent meadow where a demon is drinking tea from a samovar. You step into a silent meadow where a demon is drinking tea from a samovar. He notices you and invites you to join him. Uh. Nikolai, help! We want help from Nikolai? I'm gonna agree. You drink the tea in silence, with the demon's glowing eyes fixed upon you. You feel uneasy, and try to finish the drink as soon as possible. Suddenly, you feel a metallic taste in your mouth. Looking inside the cup, you discover that you've been drinking blood. The laughing demon disappears, along with its samovar. Bleh. Whoops. So I drank some blood. Dark pine branches move to the sides, and you see a meadow strewn with old, overgrown pits. You come closer and look into one of them. The green of the meadow drops into the open maw of the pit, from which you sense the cold of the grave. God knows who dug them up. And why? Roswell thinks the lesson should be never take food or drink from a demon. Yeah, I should have known. Inspect the pits. You start to inspect the pits one by one. You take one careless step oh. and tumble down. Thank you. Luckily, the pit is not that deep, and you climb out with ease. I took another three damage. You frequently look around. You feel as if someone is watching you. You almost decide to give up finding anything in these mysterious pits when you notice an old grave at the bottom of one of them. A grim pit is filled with a damp stench. You see an old cross covered with a rotten towel. Near the grave, there is a small pot with an offering to the dead. This is a good name for a dwarf. Grim pit, damp stench. Hello, I'm one of the Damp Stench Clan. Grimpit's the name. Um, take the offering, inspect the gold bets, or leave the location. Don't you think Grim Grimpit Damp Stench would be a good dwarf name? No, no, 
Ow. Grim Pit Damp Stench? That's disgusting. I love it. I like that. <laughs> Number two, Rosewolf, you want me to inspect the gold bets? All right, let's do it. The old cross is covered with moss, and mushrooms grow at its foot. You feel uncomfortable near the grave of the unclean dead. And I got a new entry in my encyclopedia. What was what was it? Golbet's gravestone. A Golbet's is a gravestone shaped like an izba, a traditional Russian countryside dwelling. In ancient times, the dead were buried in a small house without any windows. This is why coffins are referred to in northern dialects of Russian as houses or house for the dead. In northern Russia, a gravestone in the shape of a cross, sometimes topped with a schematic roof, was called a Golbet's. The roof helped to protect the cross from rain. In the southern regions of the Russian Empire, a pseudo roof was set atop ritual crosses or atop crosses that were placed near crossroads. On the day of a Pentecost, the souls of stillborn infants who died before baptism and those who died unnatural deaths were believed to appear atop these crosses. Whoa, okay. Inspect it. The old cross is covered with moss and oh. mushrooms grow at its foot. You feel uncomfortable near the grave of I'm the I'm not taking the offering dead. from this. No, we leave. That would be a sin. We're, we'd get on a third sin. You hear a familiar voice. Young folk are having an evening gathering, although it's not the best season for it. Get closer. Hi, Vasya. I know you have no time, but sing at least one song with us for all time's sake. Oh, to be young and frivolous and not have to worry about demons every three steps. Agree. All right, but just one. You sit by a house and dissolve in a deep song. Oh. What's my new song? I like that we got a song. Oh, this ruins it. What is this? Oh, my friends. Oh. Oh, that's cool as hell. Oh, what? All right. Hold on. What does it get like that? really good. <laughs> Sir Claw. Zerko, you thought your YouTube playlist was going crazy? No, we found it. Uh, we found a song. We joined in a song uh, with friends, and now we've unlocked that. That's pretty cool. I love all the like the little snippets of this game. Has got some interesting stuff in it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. All right, join the singers. Let's do it. That was probably, this was probably supposed to be showing while the song was going, right? That's what I bet. Unless I'm supposed to be interacting with any of this. They're mute singers. All right. 
So I got songs one of one, encyclopedia one of two. I guess I missed I missed an encyclopedia entry somewhere. Suddenly laryngitis, yeah. I'm, I'm wonder if this ends at some point. All right, let's go to the small bondy by the riverbank. This is what our goal was here. Let's see if we can beat it. So there was a spirit in this bathhouse that wants to marry our NPC friend here. All right. The small barrel once held water. Oh, nice. Here at last. And all these demons in these parts, I had never thought. Evil spirits have always been here. But you won't be able to see them without me. So go away. <laughs> These chorts harm people, but nobody can even see them. Enemies here as well. No place is safe these days, I guess. I've been thinking, why did the spirit attack me? Someone must have been there before me. Well, first of all, it was nighttime, and evil is strongest at night. Besides, why did the evil spirit attack Nikolai? Okay. Uh, why did the evil spirit attack Nikolai? No cross sign didn't ask permission. Oh man, I have no idea. This was uh, the Banya, the Bannock. Bannock was the master of a Banya in which he resided. He could help or protect a man, but also scare or kill him. It was important to perform rituals correctly and be careful not to violate any taboos. It was forbidden to use the Banya during the first or third heating or when drunk. A man could suffocate or burn himself to death, events that were also considered to be punishment of the Bannock. A man could also fall into the hearth, constructed by rough-hewn stones, later constructed of brick. Sometimes Banyas caught fire, so people built them far from the Izba, or even on a riverbank. Peasants often gave birth to children in Banyas, so there was always a risk of a devil replacing their baby with an aspen log or broom. I don't know. Oh wait, I leveled up? I have a skill point? Should I get the demonology one? Number of active item slots is increased by one. Oh, that would be nice. I need everything. You can send one short on a meaningless job. Short specialties and job types are visible. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that. That like, seems interesting to me. Um he didn't ask permission or no cross sign. She didn't cross yourself. An easy target for a short. Hmm. So that's it. Seems like you can go wrong with a cross, after all. The banya has sunk a little. That's why it got stuck, I think. You're a strong fellow. You open it. Well, I can do that, sure. But could you put a uh, Zagavar or something on me so no one grabs me? Look around first. Wait here. I'll look around first. All right. Well, I guess that thing wrong. Old door. The banya sure sank low. The door is stuck. Okay. There's an herb here. Yay. Here it is. The old Banya. The things it saw during its lifetime. Okay. Well, is it time? Step inside. All right. Hi. Yeah, Bonnie's like a sauna. sauna. Yep. Hi, young Menno. What's going on? All right, let's see what we do in here. Shelf. Nikolai. Candle. Put the candle back. All the shelves have rotted through. Let 
me, kind Bannock, pay a visit to your home. Repeat after me, Kola. Let me host Bannock. Now, let's think of what to do with That's this That's not what I said at all. She's been waiting for us, I suppose. That blue light has been shining here, right until we came in. Let's summon her and ask some questions. All right. You are the nowhere here. First, let us prepare. Stoke the fire, draw the circle. I'll read the Zagavor. Uh, did they tell us anything? People washed themselves. The body brought help, but it was all covered. Uh, young people organized if it. Uh, okay. Alright. Let's, um. Draw the circle! I'll draw a circle to be safe. I don't think your bride is evil, though. Better safe than sorry, Vasa. Stoke the fire. In order for the Bannock to know we're here, let's heat up the stove. And that stone that you took, put it back. It's better if you do it. I sort of forgot how when serving in the army. You forgot how to put a brick back? Really? Very well. I'll read the Zagavor. After that, we'll step into the circle. I'll read a special spell, and just like that, she should appear. Vasa. You are a knower, no doubt about it. And that's it. Well, let's get to work. Make a circle. I made a circle. That was insane. There's a, uh, there's a fella that just pulled up up front. A fella? Yeah, there's a guy that's like doing like lawn stuff. Yeah. And he's uh, going to the people across the street. This guy is wearing long pants and a long sleeve button down it's like me i i don't understand like i it's I too hot out and, yeah. and i'm like sweating outside oh no like that's insane like oh in the membrane <laughs> furnace okay now we're all lit up a gift Whoop. a gift to the friends of the otters delicia has gifted a sub to springy otter Thank you, Delicia, for gifting a sub. That's got our second newer gifted sub of the day. And if we get three more, we're going to do a Game Vault giveaway. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, is it time? Yes, it is, Kola. As soon as I start reading, the demon will appear. Toporito, the says the otters are so good. Thank you. I, we we claim to have the best otter emotes on Twitch. Our our artist Moogle Tart is amazing. She's she's something special. Yeah. I feel like with his name, he needs your emotes. Totally get it, Delicia. Scared? You look a bit clammy. Is it that hot in here for you? If you step out of the circle, she'll strangle you. <laughs> A way to make him not nervous. All right, I get it. I'll stand still. Here we go. Bannock, my hostess. Let us wash and steam. Oh, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Marry me! Wait. Don't run. Hear me out. Jesus and his troops. <laughs> Don't move. Let me talk with this Bannock. Wait. I'm not a demon. I'm an ordinary girl. Mm-hmm. An ordinary girl, you say? Bannock says that she's but an ordinary girl. Is that a demonic trick? What is she then? She's a demon from hell! Um, she's a changeling? Do we have any info on this? How would we know? Uh. If I choose to crash the answer, I get 75. Let's press the button, get a hint. What? What was the hint? I did a hint and it didn't tell me a hint. What did it say about Bannocks? A Bannock is the master of the Banya. 
It can protect a man. It can also scare or kill him. It's important to perform rituals correctly and careful not to violate any taboos. Um, maybe you're a changeling then. I have no idea. Did you guys see what happened when I clicked the, uh, the hint? Did I miss it? Say changeling. If you're not a demon, hey! you must be a changeling. I just guessed right. Yes, yes. You're truly a knower. Well, it is as I said. I've been living in the world of demons for a long, long time. Eighteen years. I've grown to resemble them. I was still a child and came to wash with my mother. I did a new subscriber wrong. arrives. I can't remember what. It fills you but with determination. Said, Devil take you. Extra epic otter just subscribed. Thank you so much, extra epic otter. Look at all the otters we got here today. Thank you. That's our third newer gifted sub of the day. Two more, and we will do a game vault giveaway. Uh, if you're just newly subscribing, refresh your stream so you don't get any more ads. So that way Twitch will know that you are subscribed. Extra Epic Otter says, yo, this is my kind of channel. Well, you're my kind of viewer. Any otter is a friend of ours here in the Otterman Empire, which is what our community is called. Join us on Discord, gang. Type exclamation point Discord. Jo join the Otterman Empire Discord. Hang out. We even have a section on there where you can post pics, pics and videos on, of otters. Yeah, so come on down and join us. One of us. All right, so she did something wrong. I can't remember what, but my mother said, devil take you. Oh, okay. And so, an Abdiricha took me. A bath spirit that lives beneath the benches of Abanya. It can skin a human alive, hence the name, which literally means female skinner. Yo, man. Some of these superstitions and stuff are pretty scary. Help me, Vasilisa. You're my only hope. 18 years. Where have you been all this time? We wandered the Banyas. I got sent where the stove was hot. Such was my life. Now we live in this old one. Okay. Hey, Mix Walton. You're gonna check out the uh, back for uh, Blood Open Beta to see if it's up? Nice. <clears throat> we just played, uh, we did, we actually streamed it last week. Um, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Yeah, open beta starts today. It goes goes for like six till the sixteenth, I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right, demons of asp. Do you know anything about aspen demons? No, I don't. But I can ask the Abdiricha. Abdiricha. Yeah, please ask. All right, how can we how help? How do we bring you back? To escape her, I need to get closer to the mortal world. Bring me a good belt, and a cross, the kind that's worn on the skin, and find me a name. Then the Abdiricha will have to marry me to someone. You, young fella, don't you let me down. Only you can do it. I will help. I promise you my word. Aww. Okay, the cross? What kind of cross do you need? Just any cross won't do. Of course not. I've been living with evil spirits for too long. I need one that's been worn by a demon. No, no sweat. A cross that's been worn by a demon. Okay, I can get that. Easy. Well, <laughs> that's a puzzle. Where can we find a God-fearing chort? Chorts are us. Oh, I don't know. Your friend is a knower. You'll think of something. The belt? Where can we find the belt? I need a special belt as well. Of course. Versace? It has to be woven by a skilled witch. The name. Don't worry, I'll name you. We can give you the name right away. No. What? That won't do. The name has to be one from Sviatsi. 
and given by a priest. Has to be part of a spiritual book containing names of the saints in connection to calendar days. Svasti were consulted to name a child. All right, we will help. All right, we'll help you. It's wrong to abandon a Christian soul. Besides, you already have a groom. Of course we'll help. Thank you. Bring me a cross worn by a demon, a name, and a belt crafted by a witch. I think I hear the roosters. The roosters of Ragnarok? I need to go. Come back again with the gifts. I'll be waiting until we see you again. The demon crawls back under the bench and disappears into black flame. You return to old Yegor's house and think about what to do next. Okay. But she needs a cross that was worn by a demon, a human name, and an enchanted belt. These things are easy to get. Then she hid under the bench. What a job you have. Worse than fighting the Turks. This is her destiny. A changeling, that bride of yours. What's a changeling? The bath spirit must have switched her at birth, I imagine. Now, Vasilisa. Can you guess how shall we lift the Aspen Seal? What demon is necessary for the book to open the Aspen Seal? What demon is necessary for the book to open the Aspen Seal? Uh... <laughs> uh... I feel like I'm I feel like I'm constantly getting questions on a test in school that the teacher never went over. <laughs> it's not fair. She never went over this in class. Um Hey no notes? No, that's what the that's how you play this game. You gotta go to your Amastakan. Anomastakan. And you gotta look. All right, she could be the wife of the Benedict. Oh, this oh, oh, oh. is Benedict Skinner. Her appearance, blah, blah, blah. That we're looking for the Ashen, the Aspen. I don't think the answer is here. I think this is more of a guess. What demon is necessary for the book to open the Aspen Seal? With the log, search in the forest. With the changeling chort. Let's do that one. That Abdiriha switched the girl with an Aspen log. There we go. The log is a demon itself. Of course. Well done, Vasha. My teachings weren't for naught. The changeling from the ethereal world. These infants don't grow up, as you know. Hmm. <laughs> the question is, should we waste our time on the bride's requests if we ourselves can find this changeling. We can't abandon a Christian soul to evil spirits. If I were you, I'd think whether I should take a demon for a wife. <laughs> Only a devil will marry a soldier like me. We haven't heard of such a child up until now. This means that the parents keep it secret. Right. The demon might have gobbled up her parents. Without that demon bride, we won't find it. You'll help me then. We will. But what should we start with? Huh? What was it she asked for? Belt, a cross, and a name. All right, we'll start with the cross. A cross worn by a demon. Is such a thing possible? Everything is possible, Vasilisa, if you think about it. I heard that an Ikotnitsa appeared in Yenidor uh, recently. Bless you. Uh, this is a man possessed by a demon called an Ikyota. Such people have strange abilities and in some cases the gift of divination. Yenidor is a village north of Cheridan. Okay. Go there and take her cross. All right. Start with the cross. Oh, we can start with any of them. 
All right, start with the cross. Then I'll start with the cross. What could be more important? In Yanidor, you'll find Evdakia Fokovna. They say her daughter was possessed by Ikota. So, did you get all that? Of course. Oh. Uh. <laughs> They're actually quizzing me. No, uh, Ikota. Who's that Ikota? Come on, don't you remember? This one time, a woman from Pokcha came to us so that we could whisper some zagavars over her. And then a chort the size of a vershok escaped from her. Oh, so that was an ikotnitsa. Well, yes, this ikota chort talked with us for a bit, remember? Okay, we got notes on this now. Hmm, I really don't like dealing with the possessed. Well, nothing can be done about that. So, did you get all that? Yanador. Technonude, it says, if chorts laugh, are they chortling? Oh. Where can we find that woman in Yanidor? Her house is closer to the edge of the village, the one with carved gates. So, did you get all that? Got it. What not to get? Go to the Ikotnitsa and take her cross. Okay. Pester with chorts. My chorts are home. This one's still out there. Oh, they're still out there? Okay. So he likes stuff with... Uh, Fat Ivanchka likes it when children starve. <laughs> Great. Matt V. Uh, is it a hunger? Hunger or animals? Pester with chorts. Do I need to send again? These two are home. This one's already done. Okay, so this guy needs to be sent somewhere else. He's got the hunger. Strife, weather, fire, calamity, calamity. This guy likes... Matt V is now a fiend. Okay, so this guy wants anything with hunger issues. This guy wants anything with animals. Am I reading that right? Possess. Send a curse. Attract a man to his wife's friend. A married man. Send a drought. Send thieves. I have no idea how to do this part of the game. Send. This chort still needs to report back from his previous job. Oh. Okay. I don't know how to get them to report back. The moment I became a Kaldun, I saw the Uyest in a completely different light. There is no such place where a demon wouldn't hide. You just noticed your own chords are also a giant pain. Yeah. Russell says so you're basically torturing people with these things. He, he basically said if you don't send the chorts on missions to like torment other people, they will bother you nonstop and reduce your health. Yeah. So. How did you manage your own chorts? Nothing to it, really. Just give them something to do. The only thing is they can't manage every task well. Their job is to wreak havoc. They don't like any other sort. Little men. Okay. What was that with the stove? As if I'd believe that you forgot how to kindle it. And then you got a bit too scared when the demon girl grabbed you with the fire. It is as you say, Wysa. It's not about the stove. I don't know what's wrong with me. There was this one incident. Since then, I'm not myself when I see any fire. I'm scared of it's something awful. That's exactly the reason why the lads dared me to go to the Banya. They heard the rumors and wanted to have a bit of fun at my expense. Only I'm not one to give up so easily. But why? What's wrong with fire? Oh, 
It's a long story. Fire burns! Fire. About the fire. Would it take very long to tell the story? Maybe not that long. Anyway, don't be such a bath broom. I'll tell you some other time. Don't you have anything else to do? Okay. So how did you end up a soldier? Well, they took me as a recruit. We were just we're gonna, old. We're gonna go well, fast I, And I'm... Right. <laughs> quite right. I made my... Did they... Aye. That's a different story. I just want to go through these dialogue I'll options in case it unlocks Do Encyclopedia. Well, she's the girl who would marry an old soldier and only a demon. All right. Nothing else. Play cards? What? Oh, I can play cards with Nikolai? Welcome to your first game of Dorak. Is this a real game? Dorak? Your goal is to use up all your cards. The last person left with cards in their hands is the loser, the fool, or Dorak. Use up all your cards, okay? The players take turns attacking the player next to them with one or more cards. Attack Nikolai with this six of hearts. Take that. Nikolai beat your card with a king. Press the end turn button to proceed with the game. At the end of each round, the players take turns drawing new cards until they have six in their hand. It starts with the first attacker this round. Nikolai attacked you with his eight of clubs. To defend this card and put it on the discard pile, you need to play a card of the same suit, but one higher in rank. So I need to put a nine, okay? Hey, nine. Excellent, it's your turn again. Start your next attack. Play the seven of diamonds. Although Nikolai beat your card with the 10 of diamonds, you may launch a new attack with a card of the rank that has already been played. With a new, I may launch a new attack with a card of the rank that has already been played. For instance, you can now attack with a 10 or with another seven. Cassade, is this still Black Book? It is. We're playing a game called Dorak, which means fool. All right, for instance, you can now attack with a 10 or with another 7. Okay. Yeah, this is a card game inside of a card game, yes. Can I do both? Oh, I can do both. Nikolai gave up and picked up the cards, for he has nothing to beat them with. This turn is yours. Ah, okay. I gave him two cards. Before letting you play on your own, we have to discuss trump cards. Note the trump card. The trump suit is stronger than other suits and can beat all the other cards, even those of the different suit and even those that are higher up in rank. For instance, a trump 10 will even beat a king. Since trump cards are stronger, you should decide whether to use them at your first convenience or save them for a crucial point. By the way, the player who has the lowest ranking trump card on his hand goes first. Good luck. I'm very confused. Uh... Beat my six. Seven. I'm gonna put an eight down. Hey. Hey. What? There. But how do you know what the Trump suit is? I have no idea. It, it looks like a spade over here. The Trump suit is a spade. Okay, so he has to take it. All right. And then I start again. 
He's gotta take it. Okay. There's a ten. Uh... I think I'm screwed. Eight. So since I'm not going one above it, he can still react if I do this. He brought down the diamond. So I can use this, which would be a trump card. So would this. Is ace higher than king? He's finished. So that go to me? Is this my pile over here? All right, he got me one higher, but I can do one higher over here. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea how this works. Trump is spades, okay? I have nothing to do. Is this how many cards he has left? Two? Good, I gave him more cards. I should have remembered what I gave him. Damn. Two cards each? can't play it he's gonna win yes so i retire from that great get game for the rest of my life defeated oh and one okay so let's check our visitors Wasilisa, listen thank you for your help with the banya don't thank me yet we still need to free the girl. It's just that I wouldn't be able to go at all if it weren't for you. Here, I want to give you this. You're giving me your pipe? Here, no. take it. Deck of cards. I'm back. Three, seven, ace. Three, seven, queen. I gain plus one eloquence black on battle start. What's that? Deck of playing cards or something? Thanks for the blast, Regal. Sure is. Been saving them for some time. They are antique, but first class. I'll teach you to play if you wish. No thanks. So now you can play that game all the time. They say the devil himself is not averse to a good game of Durak. Play cards or continue? Continue. Thanks for the cards. I really appreciate it. All right, let's see. I guess we could put that in over the plus one health. Who's this guy? Get out of here, you meddling kids, or you'll get it! What? Run! He saw us! Wait, maybe they're here on business. Well, speak up. Hmm. Oh, Vasilisa, we saw such a scary thing! West of Yenidor, there's a scary isba. Evil spirits live there for sure. Why do you say that? See for yourself. They say there used to be a party every day, but now it stands silent as the grave. So it for ourselves. They're the uglins. Well, well, you'll wind up in graves yourselves if you go wandering like that. Run! Okay, I don't think we were very nice to them. So I think we can set off. I could go in my book, change things around, but I have no idea what the real strategy is here. 
so we can set off all right so we're gonna do uh we have another map here our main task is to find a cross that a demon wore uh i'm gonna take a quick